Virginia Congressman Scott Rigel represents the district where the jet went down. He is a member of the House Armed Services Committee and has been in touch with both civilian and military officials today. Congressman, what can you add to our body of knowledge here? Well, Candy, it's been uh, an extraordinarily challenging and difficult day, but it seems to be also a remarkable day, given that the primary search has indicated that there are no fatalities. Um, our prayers, uh, we, uh, it looks like they, uh, they may have been answered here. We will know, I think, uh, with more certainty as time goes on, but the Hampton Roads community, Virginia Beach, uh, today is the focal point here. It's a remarkable community, uh, the number one uh, district in the country in terms of men and women in uniform, active duty and retired. So we, uh, we reach out, we embrace our military community, and when something like this happens, the uh, outpouring from this community has been remarkable. Pastors have called me, local businesses have called me, and our focus now is making sure the families are okay, the, who have been displaced. Absolutely. A lot of people are going to need a place to sleep tonight, but I, I agree with you. We, we look at those pictures. I know you've seen them uh, close right. and personal, but you look at the pictures and you, you, you just can't imagine um, how uh, no one was killed in this. It's, it's quite the miracle. Let me ask you, you're a member of the House Armed Services Committee. Uh, there are reports out there that, that the F-18 has been troublesome this year, that there have been other crashes. Can you shed any light on that? Do you know of that? Uh, the F-18 has a remarkable uh, record, both in terms of safety and in terms of combat effectiveness. Uh, we believe, and I believe the evidence uh, and records and data indicates that it's an extremely reliable plane, uh, a real backbone of our arsenal, certainly um, uh, on our aircraft carrier. So um, we'll look at the evidence, but um, it's got a tremendous uh, track record. We're very proud to have them at Oceana. And uh, I'm confident that uh, we'll move forward, you know, with that aircraft. This uh, this uh, very difficult incident today is not going to to, to, to deter that. And Congressman Ridgell, there's also we know that the base closing commission uh, had wanted to close this particular base. Uh, it suggested it because of uh, you know the buildup of of so many things around it. Uh, obviously worried about uh, the danger of something like this. The safety record's been great. This is the first incident we know there. But is that a continuing conversation in that area, or as far as you're concerned, are the people there happy to have the base and the base happy to be there? Oh, absolutely. The partnership between the Navy and Virginia Beach is extremely strong. So much work has been done in that area over the last several years, including uh, support from the governor, Governor McDonnell. Uh, Mayor Sessoms has uh, really led the effort there. So our focus here today is not so much uh, about encroachment because uh, we've got a remarkable track record there, but really on helping the families who have been displaced. Uh, so many are without a home tonight, so the mm -hmm. Red Cross, uh, my office, uh, local city and uh, state officials are really reaching out to the families. Uh, Virginia Congressman Scott Rigel, uh, the crash uh, occurring in his district, thank you so much for your time tonight. We want to bring in CNN Pentagon correspondent Barbara Starr. Just last hour, U.S. Navy Captain Mark Weisgerber said at a news conference that this was a catastrophic mechanical malfunction. Witnesses say they saw flames coming out from under the right wing. Uh, Barbara, what could that mean? Well, you know, I think his words about this catastrophic malfunction are very critical here, Candy. 